Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I have some pretty massive news on the Blender front. And I've been doing one of these probably every month or two uh, for the last two or three years because frankly, Blender has a heck of a lot of momentum behind them. There's a number of companies supporting Blender financially to help with their development. And there's always been one company that has been strangely absent. And they are absent no longer because as of today, we have learned that Apple has joined the Blender Development Fund. Now don't worry, this does not mean that Blender is now under corporate ownership. Ownership. It is still an open source project. This doesn't really give them influence unless, of course, it was a grant to develop a very specific part of Blender. Uh, this is just one of those things we all benefit from. Ben uh, means that Blender gets more development resources, can hire more people, and we have just a very small blurb to go from right now. So this is up on the Blender site right now. The Blender, organize uh, Blender Foundation, the organization behind the popular open source 3D creation tool Blender, today announced that Apple has joined the Blender Development Fund as a patron member uh, to support continued core development for Blender. Alongside a contribution to the development fund, this one is probably actually more important. Apple will provide engineering expertise and additional resources to Blender HQ and development community to help support Blender artists and developers. The thing is, uh, Apple in the last couple of years have really gone their own way in a couple of ways. They have moved to an ARM-based CPU processor uh, with the M1 that they make um, themselves, and they also have their own graphics API metal. So it'll be interesting to see if those resources help to make it so that Blender will run better on uh, Apple's platforms, Apple's hardware. It would also be really cool to see a Blender port to the iPad, but now I'm just dreaming at this point in time. So you may be wondering what a couple of these things mean. Now, your first fear might be all of these corporate masters might have an influence on Blender, that one of them, like Adobe or Apple, could make it platform only or whatever. That is not a fear that you should have. I'm not going to go into the details of why in this particular video, but I did one in the past about basically why Blender is not for sale, why Blender cannot be sold, why a private company can't have overdue influence on it. So whenever these kind of announcements happen, generally, they're just straight out good news. So, so don't be worried about Apple having undue influence on Blender, uh, that should not uh, happen in any way, shape, or form. So what we're going back to is the Blender Development Fund. This is how Blender pays for its full-time development and other you know, things, maybe potentially uh, demonstrating at shows, that kind of stuff. Uh, and you can see here, they've got $166,287 $166, in monthly contributions. So that's coming from 2,653 individual donors and 28 corporate donors. Now, what we heard today is that Apple joined at the patron level. So what does that mean? Well, that means they're joining the likes of Epic Games, uh, who gave them a grant of $1.2 million just flat out over a number of years, AMD, NVIDIA, Unity, uh, Amazon Web Services, and Facebook. So again, if corporate masters were going to take over Blender, it would have happened a long time ago. And then on top of that, we've got gold members in here, such as the weirdest one as of recent was Adobe. Microsoft is in there. Intel is in there. Um, Blender Kit, Blender Market, Embark, and then we've got Activision down there as well. Weird. Where's Ubisoft? Huh. Hey, what happened to Ubisoft? Am I blind? Am I absolutely blind? Because Ubisoft Animation actually joined up, and they're missing now. I wonder if something happened there. I wonder if there's another story going on. Anyways, you can see there are a number of supporters behind the Blender project, and they joined in at the patron level. So what does patron mean? Well, this is a kind of a minimum tier. So here are the corporate membership levels uh, at Bronze, you're, you're dedicating 6,000 euros per year. Corporate, silver is 12,000 euro. Gold is 30 euro. Uh, and then for patron, it's 120,000 euro per year or more. So again, as I mentioned earlier on, when it came to Epic Games, this was a $1.2 million grant. So we don't know specifically how much money um, the Blender Foundation just got from Apple, but we do know it is at least 120,000 euros. So that means uh, you can do uh, one full-time hire for sure there. Um, and it definitely will lead to um, you know a faster, better Blender development cycle in the future. All of these donations have all proven to be pretty good things. And again, Apple coming on board does make sense because they have their own chipsets and their own graphics API and their own hardware is just kind of that much more difficult to support than the other stuff. So them bringing in development expertise on top of the monetary support, that is definitely a nice move there. Another thing you will notice, as of Blender 2.93, if you go to the versions available for download, you'll see there's already actually support for the M1 chipset. So there is, it's been ported to ARM already. Um, so that is definitely nice to see there. Uh, 
so this will probably go towards improving that might go to seeing a metal render unfortunately there is an area where apple still sucks is they deprecated support for OpenGL and they don't support vulcan uh, so everything is done through a layer called molten vk which translates vulcan over to metal uh, so they've always done their own thing for building uh, walled gardens using sdks or custom programming languages or whatever and don't expect that to change anytime soon but the nice thing is this is going to shift the burden of support away from blender to a certain degree so we might get better mac os support because you're having apple resources behind it but don't worry that won't mean that blender is going to become a mac only product or anything idiotic like that but what i would again absolutely love to see is support for blender on the um uh, iPad Pros. It's the uh, recent moves in Blender. The UI has been shifting so that it's more touch friendly, stylus friendly. I would love to see that happen. If, and if this funds went to making a version of Blender for the iPad, I would be a very, very happy man. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything to indicate that that is what's going to happen, uh, but hey, a man can dream anyway. So if you're interested, again, that's this is the extent of the news. Uh, they've joined the foundation. Very interesting. Uh, I do actually wonder, I always have the same question after these videos. When you look at this list of companies, you know, that benefit from Blender or use Blender, you know, so obviously AMD, they want it to run on their GPUs, want it to run on their um, compute software, on their um, CPUs and so on. Ditto for Intel, who is on here. Uh, we got Microsoft in terms of platforms, Facebook in terms of the Oculus Rift. Uh, both major game engine makers are on here and so on. Who is missing now? Because the biggest one was obviously Apple. Apple was clearly missing when you had AMD, you had Intel, you had Microsoft, and so on. And then you had a couple of, um, so Google's on here as well. A couple of Linux manufacturers used to be on here at least. And it's weird because a couple of people have fallen off. And I wonder if there's a story behind Ubisoft not being here anymore. Because Ubisoft Animation uses uh, Blender, uh, or started using Blender anyways in their pipeline. And they used to be on here. So it'd be interesting to see if there's a story behind that. But when you look at the list of patrons, is there one that really stands out to you as missing? To me, not really. The major GPU makers are there. Um, Maybe like something like uh, Ubuntu or another uh, Linux maker, possibly. But the big one that was missing for me, in my humble opinion, was um, definitely Apple. Uh, now, interestingly, no Autodesk, <laughs> but I don't expect to see that anytime soon. But is there someone here that you think would make sense to be on here that isn't here currently? Let me know. Comments down below. And also let me know what you think of Apple coming on board, what you think of that potential uh, hardware support blender are going to get out of this. Do you think this is a good thing? Or are you still a little bit wary of corporate money coming into the Blender ecosystem at the rate it was? Personally, again, I'm not that worried about it because if there, if there was going to be an influence, look at the list of patrons already. It would have already happened. Uh, and what we've seen basically is Blender just keeps getting better and better at a faster rate. So hopefully this will keep it up. So anyways, that is it. Apple has joined the Blender Development Fund. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.